Okay, now listen up, listen up. We're not gonna be here long. Last thing I want to do is uh, bequeath the rest of my time over to my dad and uh, have him come up and say a few words. Jack Harbaugh. Just one quick thing, I'm gonna really go through this fast. My favorite story, my father, he was a professional boxer. And the one thing we did on Monday night, Wednesday night, and Friday night, we watched a boxing match. We watched a fight, boxing gloves, and he would tell me about, bang, the jab, bang, bang. He would tell me, when you, when you cross that, you gotta keep that hand up, hey, hey, hey. Told me about all those things. It was about 1978 guy by the name of Vito Antofermo. He was out of New York City, and he was not a great fighter. In fact, he was a bleeder. They'd been hit so often around the eyes that you just tapped him, and the blood would come flowing. So he knew he had to win it fast because he was going to bleed. Fight would be stopped, technical knockout, and he would lose. So he's fighting a guy by the name of Cyclone Hart, Madison Square Garden. Put him on the big show. So in the first round, step up here once. You're Vito and I'm Cyclone. What, what Cyclone did, he went boom! And he drilled him right underneath, underneath the rib cage. And Vito heard something pop. Oh my God, couldn't breathe. And he thought to himself, drop down to a knee. No, if I just get through this round. Come the third round, they're in there again. Jump up here, my friend. What happened again was boom! He drilled him in there again. Now he heard another pop, but he felt the blood begin to fill up his mouth. The trainer says, you are in trouble. You know, I gotta throw, no, hold on to that towel. Give me one more round. Give me one more play. Give me one more chance. And sure enough, he let him go. Fifth round, Vito goes, boom, and pops him right on the tip of the jaw. Cyclone's knee buckled, he went under the ropes. He's quitting. He doesn't want it anymore. He's let go. This is my time. And he turned out a flurry of left and rights and body shots and chin shots and every shot he could do. This fight is over. And the winner is Fito and Affirmo. Wow. Why do I tell you that story? My experience over 50 some years, these kind of contests that you're in tomorrow against this kind of team, there's gonna be opportunities to knock those sons of pups out. They're going to look into their eyes and they're going to glaze over. And they don't want it anymore. That's the time that you go after with a flurry of punches and knock their ass out. All contests that are even come down to that. One team, when it's all over, is going to sit in that locker room. They're going to look it back at the play that you could have made, or 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 any of this room could have made that would have brought this team victory. Don't sit in that locker room with your hands up to your face with the tears coming down your fingers because you didn't make it. Sit in that locker room and know that you outlasted those guys. You persevered. Your persistence won in that particular case. Good luck tomorrow. Beat them.